everybody, Kevin Mackey. I'm the medical director for Sacramento Fire Department. And today I want to talk to you about a very special tool we've just introduced into our department. It is called the Lucas device. The Lucas device will assist us in CPR. As you know, over the past five years, we've trained and trained and trained about minimizing interruptions in CPR. This device will help us do that. But the key part of this device is how to deploy it. That is not intuitive and it's something that we want to share with you through this video so that if you have two people on scene or you have more than two people on scene, the device will still work with you and work for you to continue the great work you've already started with CPR. So in this video, we'll introduce you to the device, show you how to activate it, show what its modes are, show, show you how to deploy it with your partner and then we'll take off and we're going to save more lives and more lives. Okay, so as he unpacks the Lucas device, you'll notice that immediately the backboard's on one side, the Lucas device is on the other, and then this pouch in the top is where you find the shoulder strap. Okay, let's start with the backboard. So the backboard has a diagram on it. You'll notice that the X is right between the nipples. That's where we want to optimally place the suction cup, and the backboard needs to be positioned perfectly right between there. But it doesn't matter which orientation the backboard's in, it can go underneath the patient in either direction. It'll attach just fine. All right, let's talk about the actual Lucas device. As it comes out, you'll see the working parts on top, all the knobs are on top, we'll go through that. And you'll notice the suction cup underneath, and then on the sides, on both sides, you see these yellow loops. These yellow loops are used, you can pull them as triggers to attach the device, but when the device is attached properly, it will actually make a loud click, and you'll hear it click into place. Okay, a couple other things to notice about this is the attachment for the shoulder strap. They're low on the device and they clip in to these attachments on the bottom. When you're ready to attach the shoulder strap, you attach it on one side, pass it underneath the patient's neck, and then you attach it on the other side. and you can pull it tight. And then finally, what are these straps up near the battery device? These straps right here are where you can place the patient's wrists so that their arms are up and they're out of the way and not flopping down on the gurney. Okay, so that's the pieces and the attachments of the Lucas device. All right, let's talk about activating and using the Lucas device. The green button on top, the activation button, will turn the device on. You'll hear four tones and this green light will come on where the number one is. When you're ready to lower the cup, you can lower the cup down to just above the rescuer's hands and then push button number two. That brings the device down to the chest and establishes suction. Now you're ready to start the compression part. If you are on a squad and you're with just two people, we're recommending that you start in the 30 to two mode, which is this bottom button over here. The top button corresponds to continuous mode. You can switch between the two of them as you need to. So now that you're ready, the cup is lowered. Initiate compressions by starting 30 to two. Now what happens if you need to check for a pulse? Well, you're gonna find the pulse, pre-charge the monitor, and when you're ready, hit the second button. 
and it will bring it into a pause mode where you can check your pulse. And remember what we just talked about. If you need to deliver a shock, go ahead and start compressions again by pushing the button and in initiating your compressions. And then you can deliver your shock. All right, so that, cover, that covers the activation and the main features of the Lucas device. All right, CPR is started. You can see the backboard is already unpacked, placed behind the patient's head. Next, he's pulled the Lucas device out. And he's accessed the shoulder strap, activating the device, holding down the button. That's on, ready to the board. Ready? Yep. Coordinating together, lifting the patient, sliding the board into place, resuming CPR, attaching the device, using that trigger, coming through his arms, reattaching on the other side, hearing those clicks, now lowering the cup down, and activating the device 30 to 2. Now the device will begin to deliver compressions. They slide the shoulder strap underneath the patient attached to both clips, tighten down, and literally just that fast, CPR is underway. Thank you.